What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video. And today, uh, we're gonna talk about some Dragon Ball, right? So the World Tour Finals wrapped up, uh, I don't know who the champion is as uh, of this recording, whoever won, good job. <laughs> it was not easy, uh, of course, but uh, I wanna revisit some things I talked about uh, over the past like six months or so. Uh, both strategy and just like stuff about the game and I figure since the world tour has just wrapped up um, revisiting what should happen in season three a theoretical but probable season three would be a really good place to start so revisiting right so last time I talked about what I wanted to see in season three it was literally what I wanted like changes I wanted specifically obviously not everyone agrees with those types of changes uh, even though I think I explained myself pretty well last time. But this time I want to talk about things that I think the game like literally needs. So not stuff that I would want, but that the game actually really needs. So the first thing to start with would of course be characters. So one of the ways that Season 2 got pushed along besides uh, us just playing the game and developing the game over time was that they used characters to kind of patch the game a little bit if that makes sense uh of course gt aside right um gogeta affects the game a little bit um super broly you know he has potential like stuff like that so if they add like i i would hope they add like five or six more characters and we do meme about how there's like this goku and that goku and the other goku but there's a couple of characters i would like to see personally like majin vegeta would be cool vegeta's kind of my boy i know super boo would be a cool addition maybe a couple more female characters stuff like that like kefla or something stuff like that i think there's a lot of opportunity there um there is a thing about adding assist to characters, but I don't really think it's needed. There's about six or seven types of assist, especially if you review my uh, team building series on this channel. There's a bunch of type of assist already. So it's just about, uh, you know, making potentially if they add new characters, just putting them in that group and make sure the assist is strong. Uh, there's definitely room for, if I look in the corners, at six more like squeeze one here uh, maybe only squeeze at least four more right squeeze one here squeeze one here and squeeze two more over here so more characters would definitely be nice people like more characters etc another thing though next would definitely be stronger characters though so this is gonna be a little bit about the balance of the game so overall i think the balance of the game is pretty good uh i know a lot of people have s a b c for their tiers i'm like like a S plus S, S minus, A plus A, A minus B type of person. So I think the tiers are kind of close. I think a lot of characters in the game are valuable. I don't think any of the characters are bad, but the overall like way they make characters kind of bothers me. And especially like seeing how they change characters over time overall kind of bothers me. So it, it definitely hurts, especially when like I was just scrolling over the characters. I look at characters like Broly who had a big come up, or like Base Vegeta who had a big come up, and I'm like, you guys can do this. Like you, you know what you're doing. It seems right. So I would much like it if the if we keep the top characters the same, like the S to S minus characters the same, and then buff the other characters. Uh, one thing about this game is that I feel like. The re one of the reasons why the characters are so close is because pretty much all of the characters are incomplete or like close to incomplete uh like let's say 80 to 70 percent done in my opinion tool set wise and of course we we use the assist to fill in those slots and that's why team building is so hard for people characters like like say bardock or ssj vegeta or ssj goku are really good lines for characters some people say i remember there was an interview where they said adult gohan was one of the characters they were like this is a character that i'll never change we try to make characters based on him as like the power level and like ssj goku and ssj vegeta and other characters like that but i don't i don't necessarily think gohan is a good choice for that i think like these two and like bardock maybe gohan are like good lines for like how good characters should be uh because so all the characters like from in my opinion, like any as low as A tier is tournament viable as long as you have good assist with them to run. Uh, and like I said, there's no bad characters, but characters just feel incomplete. So that's 
why I feel like people switch around a lot or like lean towards top tiers and stuff like that. And even when like top characters are missing stuff, like you, you can like argue that GT is lacking in a couple of tools or like, you know, like Team Gohan doesn't have a beam. Oh no. But like their other tools are so strong that it makes up for it. And that's kind of the way I would like to see them go a little bit. The next thing would be uh, stages, right? We could just, let's just pick what I would usually pick. There's a timeline where this could happen, but it's not this timeline, unfortunately. Um, stages is, is like, like, come on at this point. Like, it's been two years, right? It's been two years. The only stage we got is this. This stage fucking sucks. I thought there's no other way for me to say it. It is a super wax stage. It's like ugly green. The song sucks. Like, come on, bro. And there's clearly space for state. Look how much I can move it. Like, you can put one here, one here, one here. And then, like, one here, one here, another one here. And there's, like, at least space for, like, seven more stages. I'm not asking for seven more, but there should be more. Outside of, like, like World Terminal Arena, West City, Namek, uh, the West City stages, right? Uh, all the stages are, like, oh, and Cell Games, of course, Cell Games. All the stages are just, like, pretty generic. Like, you're outside, away from people type of thing. Uh, and they don't even need like transitions like a lot of the stages have like transitions where you like slam somebody into another stage But in the case of like world tournament arena, you can slam them into like islands or whatever and in, like Namek you can slam them over here, but There are also stages that don't transition at all like space or galactic arena, right? So they don't even need to transition like they could just be like these stages and just have the Oh, I'll knock you through the wall, but then we come back here kind of thing. Um, I'm not a super huge Dragon Ball expert, but the easy one is like Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Like, come on, that, that should have been the training mode stage. Uh, I'm sure there's more like locales and like the movies and stuff that they could add. People mentioned Tournament of Power, which I think is definitely one they could do, especially since they're adding Ultra Instinct Goku. So there's opportunities for stages. I just find it really weird that this is a licensed game and so many stages are like... For lack of a better word, really, really generic stages. Really, really generic stages. So uh, that would be nice. And I kind of feel like you could sidestep the whole why don't characters have alternate costumes thing at the same time for a little while. Okay. So the next thing is about the actual game. Next couple of things, the last couple of things is about the actual game. So well, one is how to fix Snap. How to fix Snap. So this is a kind of complicated thing because... I actually, I think I've said on the channel, I like Snap. Uh, I think Snap solves, at least from a player perspective, solves like some big problems I personally have with the game. But I can understand why people don't necessarily like it, right? Now, the way you fix Snap, I think, is there's a two-step way to do it. I don't know if they're going to do it. I feel like they're going to address it because the majority of the community dislikes it. But it's a two-step thing. One, they have to change the way knockdowns work. Two, they have to change the way snap works. So let's let's do a quick combo, right? Oh, let's also record 18 doing stuff. So as we're aware, when you do a slide knockdown, how did I miss that? It's okay. When you do a slide knockdown, uh, you have multiple text op options, right? So you have like your up tech, you have your neutral tech, you have your delay down, whatever, right? So keep up tech the same, keep neutral tech the same. Uh, this is actually something from the last video, but I think you should be able to hit delay down tech after a certain window It's like this in every other Arxis game like Persona, BB, anytime you can delay You variably delay your tech you can be hit after a certain period So you have some interval, but then after a certain period of time you could be hit um, Why because I think the main reason people are even encouraged at least especially in my case are even encouraged to snap is because it is just you just can't deal with all the defensive options they have when you knock them down uh especially when you don't have assists or like level three available so despite their like i said i do feel like there's not really a snap meta uh because you know you have to specifically build a team a very targeted team to work efficiently with snap um the game still kind of encourages you to do it. Like if you look at all the tools, it's like, okay, I could knock them down, I could do all this stuff, or I could snap and like, yeah, the character heals 
And I this is why I think like snap is kind of like an okay thing. Like the the character will heal, but I get some guaranteed offense. So the other thing they'd have to do is to change snap so that the lockout is shorter. Probably like three to four seconds is okay. Eight is a long time. Eight seconds is a really long time. But uh, I think in the current context of, context of the game, it actually works. But if you if you cut it in half. Uh, and you make the slide knockdown slightly more advantageous for the offensive player, uh, I think it'll discourage people from snapping so much unless it's to kill blue life because even in like the most optimal snap builds, like I play a team that's really, really heavily focused on snap. Even in my most optimal runs, the character I snap out always gets their blue life back. It just happens that I built a team that it like the max damage output is so high and the meter gain so high that it doesn't matter that much right but for other teams they can't it'll take them a while to actually target and kill a character right so this will not only solve the snap problem because people hate getting snapped uh slide knockdown will be more useful and maybe the game will be a little bit faster too because unless you're playing a super targeted snap team like mine or something then if you're snapping over and over to kill, you're taking much, much longer to finish the character than just like two touching them. So I think it solves a bunch of problems at the same time. The last thing I would like, and I don't think I actually have a character for this, right? I don't think I... Mm, yeah, I don't think I actually have a character for this. Yeah, okay. Actually, we well, how we're going to do this is we will swap out lovely Android 18 for our boy Bardock. So the last thing I actually would like to see change is uh chip damage okay so not chip kills uh for a few reasons one like chip kills you know this game despite the game being like pretty deep it is like an introductory fighter uh chip kills you know like new players don't really like that that much this game doesn't doesn't even have that like in mind but uh like there is no reason that Bardock should do more chip damage with Tyrant Lancer than like 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 a projectile. Like this does such a negligible chip, right? Why do I want chip damage? Uh if there is chip damage, not chip kill again, chip damage, uh, I think it will bring up some characters without them needing to be changed at all or have like very very slight changes and we will start seeing some different win conditions in the game because basically like like i said before this game pretty much has no clear win condition uh besides snapping people pretty much like you could snap people you could play like a mix heavy team with, like kid boo and gt uh but basically everyone else is trying to do that too it's just like certain characters do it better and that's it all the defensive characters, like 21 and Frieza, so you can play a defensive team. Like this is a pretty common theme in Arxis games where like the zoners also have like really good offense. Um, but also you have to take into account too that one of the threats in other games like Blaze Blue, for example, is like the characters are that are running away are usually like kind of fast, speed kind of varies, their offense is good, but they're also chipping you out. So it's not like you can just sit there. You have to kind of go in on them too. So while like a lot of the zoning character, well, I should say a lot, cause there's not a lot of them. While the characters who can play defensively, like 21 and like Z Broly or Frieza, like they have good like neutral control. Uh, a lot of the strategy of like playing around them is basically you walk around, jump around, and block because you're not taking chip damage, and then you super dash at them eventually and just like try to catch them off guard, or you try to use you try to like get your assist in play and like run in. So. Even though they're playing defensively, they're still because like there's no threat of blocking the assist. They're still, you know, kind of playing the same game as everybody else besides like the snap thing. So it would add just like another layer of or in, like another way to play the game that's not the same thing that everyone else is doing. Uh, I kind of think the game needs a couple more win conditions, but I don't know. I don't know how far they're willing to go with this. Uh, hopefully, they do the chip damage thing though. So uh, those are the five things I'm thinking about right now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments on this. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.